Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. In our previous video, we have learned how to manage multiple test suits with testng.xml file. Today, we will learn about testng groups. Testng groups combine the test into groups and allow us to choose which ones to run and which ones to ignore. Testng group allows to group different tests and run these group tests together. This test can be part of same class or different class. For an example, let's say you have a class and there are many tests or methods. In that, fewer functional test cases, fewer sanity test cases and fewer regression test cases. You probably like to run all the regression tests together in a batch and you want all of them to be in a single test suit. With the help of grouping, you can easily overcome this situation by including all the regression tests into one group. So let's see how we can do it. I have taken the same example, previous example, whatever we have inside the, inside the test ng test cases. So here you can see we have one class test one and inside that we have three tests. So what I will do now? I will add groups to it. So how you will add? You will add to as a annotation, right? So here what you can do? You have at the right test. Then we, earlier we have we know why we have to give priority to execute in a particular sequence. Then here you can add groups. So for example, this I will tag to group sanity. Okay, fine. Similarly, second test case also I will add into sanity and the third test I will add part of functional. So do not worry why I am adding this sanity, why I am adding as functional. So these are for our basic understanding I am taking as example. So you can give whatever you want just for our understanding I am categorizing into sanity, functional like that. So let's go to test 2. So in test 2 also what we will do? We will add it as for example group as regression. Okay. So we may create one more class and we will name it as test 3 and here in test 3, let me remove this and here I will for example, I will name it as click on R2 basket, R2 basket is successful and I will have one more method. I'll keep it as for example add delivery address delivery address added successfully something like that any message I can give any of these are not real tests so these are we are using for example and in a group I will make it as for example functional let it be sanity. So if you remember we have three now sanity is one here and here there is no sanity here we have two sanity. So sanity is three functional is functional is two and regression is one. Okay. Now what we will do we will go to our testng.xml file and here we will do some modification okay so in our testng.xml file inside the suit for example now i'll give it as name as test suit and here we'll add some groups so what you can do you can write groups okay and then here you can write 
run and here you can write include and now you can give the name so what is the group name we have given for example we have given function app okay I'll do control shift F it will format your code and I'll add one more test here so this is our test 3 and for now I'm just changing this name test 3 this is test 2 this is test 1 1 2 3 okay so what we want only functional group whatever test we have whatever we have added functional that should get executed and right now we have one functional here in test here there is no functional and here we have so total two test cases should get executed so let's execute that right click run as test and this should so we saw total two got executed right one is from test one test one class so if we see here whatever we have added search for a product here search for a product and in test 3 we have click on add to basket click on add to basket right where we have that click on add to basket this is also functional similarly if you want to run for sanity right you can run it like this see total in test 1 we have two sanity in test 1 we have two sanity and in test 3 we have one sanity right so for example you want to run both you want to add one more sanity here and in test 2 we have regression you want to run both you can do this also run as testing okay so here we can see both got executed right so here we show whatever uh, test belongs to sanity group or regression group that got executed right so however we are giving uh, include similarly you can give exclude in place of include you can give exclude and let me put it a regression okay so we know we have only one regression set and that we are excluding part of the execution so what we expect that should not get executed all others should get executed you see test 1 and test 3 got executed but test 2 didn't execute because it got execute, uh, excluded so similarly if we give here sanity all the test cases part of sanity group will not get executed see in test 1 only one got executed because all others which got executed search for a product because all others part of sanity ok so that's why it didn't execute so testng groups are declared inside the testng.xml file and can be found inside the soup tag you can also put it inside the test tag so here also you can put but you need to remember that the groups defined in test tag apply to only that particular test tag but the groups defined in soup tag apply to all the test tag in the xml file thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.